right, so I just want to show you the setup that I use to easily take down my Christmas lights. Um, you've probably seen these um, poles and the easy clips in stores like Target, Walmart, places like that. Um, and I actually use those clips um, on my parents' uh, house. Now, I don't use the pole to put them up. I still use a ladder or a kit on the roof. Um, but I want to show you how you can use this pole to still easily take down lights on any clips, even those clips. Um, now this pole, it is a little cheaper than this one that I'll show you, um, but it's pretty thin. It, it extends, um, you just twist it to tighten it and the opposite direction to loosen it. And then on the end of everything, this is the kind of trick that I use. Um, the other pole that I use is the Mr. Long Arm. This is only probably the 20 foot one. Now they make them all the way up to 40, but you can just see how much thicker that is. So when it's extended all the way out, it is easier to control. It's not as, it doesn't bend and, and things like that. It's a lot easier to manage. But here's the trick that I use. On the end of it, I actually use a very cheap uh, roller, paint roller, because at the end, it'll actually screw onto here like that. And then this, you can loop around the clips, around the strands, um, and easily take them off. And what I do is I'll strategically use the opposite end to go underneath the strands so that way the whole thing doesn't come crashing down. Um, I'm sure you've been like me where you probably maybe think you're doing it the easy way and just pull on it, they all come, and then the following year you gotta buy new lights uh, because they hit the ground. So don't do that, uh, do it the smart way. Get yourself one of these or one of those cheaper Christmas poles. But on the end of it, get a painter's roller. This cost me about two bucks. Um, I want to say this was about 20 um, and the longer ones cost about 40. You can find them on Amazon, Home Depot, and places like that that sell paint supplies. Uh, but there's my little trick. Uh, what I like to do when I use it on this type of clip is I just grab it here and I'll go underneath the light, the wiring here. So I try to go under and then loop it and then pull it off. And then on this type of clip, this is the ones that go for the easy up. If uh, anybody has these, sometimes these clips are a little cheaper. Um, and I used to use the pole a long time ago to even put them up, but I usually don't do that anymore, but I still have a lot of these clips. So here at my parents' house, this is what I work with. But here it is on here on the wiring. So here's what I'll do to on the peaks to make sure I don't drop the wires um, or the bulbs onto the ground. So. What I'll do is I'll use the long end. I don't bend this, first of all, um, but I'll go up underneath and kind of let it set on here. And then when I pull the wire, I'll kind of go underneath here and I'll pull it off the shingle that way. And whenever it's pulled off, the slack actually dangles on here like that. Okay, so now that I showed you my setup, I'm gonna show you a couple examples on how I make this work. So check it out. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. It definitely helps the channel out, so I appreciate it. Um, let's get into the examples. So when I'm dealing with a corner like this one, or even on the gutters, most of the time what I'll do is I'll leave one. As you can see here, I'm leaving this one and I'm gonna do this whole strand. And all I'm gonna do is pop them off. It's gonna be hard to do one-handed. That way it keeps them from falling down. Now I'm going to keep going and I'll probably leave maybe another one or two here in the corner, but I'm going to keep going on here and just leave a few 
maybe every 10 to 15. That way they don't fall off and fly down and I've got to pick a lot of clips up. This will make it a little bit easier.
right, so now that I showed you my cheap setup, again, this cost, this roller cost about $2. This pole was about 15 to 20, or you can get this one for around $10. So for less than 40 bucks, you can have an easy um, takedown method for your Christmas lights. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.